Good afternoon, everybody. This is John Weller and Mark Casper coming to you. Today is the Hallmark Digital Retailing Town Hall. Been waiting for this day for a very long time with my friend here, Mark. For those of you that don't know me, my name is John Weller. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer here at Broadloom. In 2011, I saw that the internet was going to have a profound impact on the flooring industry, and I co-founded a company called Floorforce to build websites for the flooring industry. A fun fact about myself, I've worked in every single department in a carpet mill. For those of you that don't know who Broadloom is, Broadloom simply connects manufacturers, retailers, and consumers to simplify the buying and selling of flooring. So today I am joined by Mark Casper, VP of Marketing and Sales at Hallmark Floor Covering. Mark, what's a fun fact about yourself? Uh being in the industry for 30 years, um, I also have worked at many positions in many different um, arenas. But the fun fact is sun, scuba, and surfing is where I grew up along Huntington Beach and enjoyed it um, ever since. That is a very, very fun fact. Um, lucky you. Someone's got to do it, as you <laughs> always tell me. <laughs> So listen, Mark, um, before we get into digital retailing and the Hallmark program, tell me what's new at Hallmark. Well, this year is our 25th anniversary we're really excited about because we are here for one reason, one reason only, that's a specialized retailer. We recognize that this um, uh, is through distribution, through specialized retailer and offers some of the best possible floor covering choices and steering that we have in the United States. Um, so we're excited because the products that we have coming out this year, which was about over 50 new SKUs and colors, along with a new collection in both SBC and also in our wood. Um, one of the items that we are aggressively pursuing is that of alternative products that the specialized retailer can sell. And we see that out in the part marketplace today. Everybody's trying something new. Um, we are actually in the midst of um, starting into cabinets and also into wooden countertops. And part of that is the idea that we're using the whole log as far as our product is concerned. So we not only own um, Timberland, um, which allows us to control as far as availability uh, with all the species that we carry, here from America, that includes walnut and maple and red oak and white oak um, and hickory. So that is our focus um, as we move through the next couple of years. And you'll be able to see a lot of that um, as it comes online with distribution across the nation. That's really cool. 50, you have 50 new SKUs of hardwood also, or at least flooring? Products? Yeah, Actually, we do. Um, part of it is because it was a buildup from the pandemic and not being able to launch things as smoothly and as cleanly as we would have liked. So we do have um, an extraordinarily amount of products that are actually right spot on as far as the on trend is concerned with lighter colors, um, wider visuals, longer lengths, everything everybody's asking for. And then we transition those products in through all of our lines from a 4MM sawn face that has a three um, sanding guarantee all the way through to our SPC that has the same look that we've actually taken, scanned in and detailed out to what people are looking for today in the marketplace. You know, that's just listening to you talk about this brings me back to the days when I was a rep and used to do PK meetings at all the stores and hope and pray that some way that all of these retail salespeople that I would talk to would be able to convey all the new features and benefits of all the stuff that I would sell. And rarely did that ever happen. And what's really, I think what's exciting about the conversation we're having right now is the tools that we're building and the ones that you guys have partnered with us on are bringing all that information directly to the consumer in a contextual way that's gonna give them all that information whenever it's convenient for them to intake it while also having an engaging experience. So with that, I'm gonna transition into why we're having this town hall to begin with, which is to introduce 
the digital retailing program uh, with Hallmark. So let me start out by doing something. I've, you know, I think digital retailing is not new in the world. Uh, the automotive industry has been talking about it for a decade, but it's brand spanking new in the flooring industry. So I'm going to just give the definition of digital retailing. Digital retailing refers to technology that enables shoppers to complete most of their journey online and finalize the purchase in person. Um, and again, that has mainly been, um, digital retailing has mainly been executed in large ticket items that consumers want to actually have a physical um, at least encounter with of some sort because it's a large ticket. And secondly, most of these items like a car, like flooring, like furniture, a lot of them actually will need to have some coordination with some sort of human being to either have it installed, have it tuned up, have it um, put into the house or whatever it is. So our industry is right for it and could not be more excited than to be working with a company like yours and a passionate person like you uh, to be bringing digital retailing into our industry. So Mark, you know, you and I have been talking about this forever. I never forget the day I met you. It was maybe three or four years ago. And you gave me a vision for how you would like your customers to be able to interact with you talking about the retailers um, and said, is there anything out there? Like there has to be something because consumers are changing and you're one of the unique individuals in the industry that has been pushing Broadloom into saying, what can you do to help me help my retailers connect with, uh, with consumers? So here we are and talking about digital retailing. I think, I think, listen, let's just have a discussion. I want to give you some, some statistics uh, that I pulled before we did this that will make this conversation, I think, even more interesting for the people that are watching. So number one is 40% of consumers have said in surveys that they will pay more for a personalized shopping experience across channels. You know, you and I have been in this industry forever and retailers are at least in my experience when I was a rep, most of the engagement was I would present a product that was about 10% of the engagement. 90% was negotiating the price of these products with the retailer um, so that they could actually improve their margins. Would you, would you say that's pretty accurate? Yeah, absolutely. You know, the perceived um, competition is real. Uh, there is uh, not only what we have down the street with our spe um, our fellow specialized retailers, um, and everybody's unique. I think uh, the the one takeaway that I've got, John, out in the marketplace and going across country with every single dealer, is that everybody has something to offer. Um, where that stops is when you start looking at the big stores and you start seeing um, uh, national. Uh, I would say businesses that offer a singularity um, and don't, but are highly involved in visibility. And that's where I saw what you offer, but what we were trying to offer to our customers um, with our loyalty programs that we give them exclusivity with our product and we promote them nationally because as, um, as you know, uh, Google's very regional now and they can't go past that. But if we can synergize the entire nation with um, SEO and the ability to align ourselves with the right, not only dis distribution, specialized retailers, but also manufacturers, then we win because our network is actually deeper within the community. When you look at their referral system, it's 50% minimum, which means um, Typically, it's more than that for people who have really done their due diligence in the marketplace and in their communities. Um, and we're looking at, well, how do we make that stronger? How do you make that deeper? How do you make that wider um, when things start to change? And we're, we're seeing that now with what's happening in the marketplace. Um, there's not as many people walk through the door. There's not as many people who are doing whole home remodels. Um, but there's still people putting in floors. 
even through the Great Recession, we saw that. So it's really critical to have a high visibility in your community so that people know where they can find you and work with you um, to the best of what the end consumer is looking for. Um, yeah. We work really hard at that with everything that we put on our website, everything we release, all of our products that we release. We talk to um, the voice of the consumer out there, our retailers, our distributors, to make sure that that's the best offering along physical, but also the digital side. Yeah, I mean, what I think this is a really interesting fact, though, that consumers are, are saying out loud in a survey that they're willing to pay more for a personalized shopping experience across channels. Another one, to your point that you just made, 80% of customers say that the experience that a company provides is just as important as the products and services. I think we all, if, if you don't recognize it, we've all become impatient. Like I am shocked sometimes at the service level that I get when I'm walking around a box store, for instance, and you have to find somebody. Um, and especially online, I can tell you that if I don't see reviews, if I don't see the, the pertinent information that I need about making a decision as small as buying a pizza or as large you know, as other things, I'm gone. I literally now have an expectation and 80% of customers, it looks like, have the same. And then the last statistic is 65% of consumers said they've cut ties with a brand over one single poor experience. In, ex in customer service or online experience. That should tell you everything. Like, you know, if we're not as an industry looking about how to simplify this experience, you know, not just from you, from the manufacturer to the retailer, but from the retailer to the consumer, we're going to miss out by somebody it is, but that's what's exciting. I think about where we're going with this program. You know, and a lot of that can be solved quite simply by just engaging with them. Um, we do it all the time because when they can't find the distributor, they can't find the retailer or um, the, nobody's returning their calls, they come to us as the manufacturer and they need some simple answers most of the time um, or just a voice. Uh, it's critical in this marketplace today that you answer everybody immediately whether it's good or whether it's some misunderstanding that has taken place on the job site. It's, in fact, it's probably the best tactic you could take is to solve the problems online, making it because that's the trust people are looking for when they see in the reviews, you know, this happened, but this, this um, I was disappointed with, but they came back around and they solved my problems because online, when you see reviews, it's not just a number. They're looking for the intuitive idea that that company is going to support them through the whole process. It's not a cheap process when you're putting a whole floor in your house. So they're going to be in there for a while. They, they want to be able to know that um, they got the best product for the best price. Um, it was something unique. It was something different. But the people knew more than what was online. Yeah, I mean, listen, to your point, one of the really unique things about uh, consumer generated content, which is reviews, right? It's basically consumers leaving content about their experience, whether it's good or bad. At the end of the day, it answers questions for customers, right? One of the things that, you know, I think that a lot of retailers don't recognize, we talk to them all the time, get as much about your company, what makes you guys special onto your website. Let us help you, you know, with blog posts or with about us sections on the website or videos about the company. The bottom line is the customers that you provide that information for and the, and the reviews, all that information goes into them formulating trust and the ability to say, you know what, this is who I want to work with. And the more you can do that, the more it feels customized and curated as an experience rather than a generic, very vanilla, hey, listen, we sell flooring, here's our phone number. The more things you can add additionally to that, um, which is getting more reviews and having more information uh, is important. And where we're going with this is now taking it to the product catalog and into the product experience. So with that, I'm going to transition over and talk about, let's talk about the Hallmark Digital Retailing Program itself. 
Um, and here we go. This is the exciting parts and components of it. And we'll go through each and then we'll talk about uh, holistically what this means and what we've already seen um, with people who are using retailers that are using digital retailing in the marketplace. So the very first thing that we're offering with the Hallmark Digital Retailing Program is online visualization. This is probably not the newest component for people in the floor covering industry, um, but it is a very significant part of this program. You know, for the first time, anybody who has a Broadloom website is going to be able to use visualization on all of the Hallmark pr products on their website, allow customers to see those products uh, in, the in the rooms of their home that they're actually trying to decorate. And that's the very first feature that's, that comes with the program. As I said, probably not the most exciting and newest thing, um, but it is extremely important as, as part of the program. And I'm sure like you have conversations all the time with retailers and different people. I mean, visualization today is almost becoming table stakes. Would you not agree? Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it is because it, it takes the guesswork out of why people hire interior designers. They want somebody, they want a sure thing, they want to be able to didn't make a mistake. This allows them to do that with any every possibility, whether you want it on, on an angle, whether you want it from front to back, whether you want it from side to side, as far as your house and the visualization of that, a dark floor, a light floor, a medium floor. It literally makes sure that you get exactly what you want. And that is true customization. You're right. And one of the cool things that we just added to the visualizing now is what you can do. You can take a picture of your room. You can put the Hallmark product into that room, but then you can slide the slider and it shows you mm, before yeah. and after of what the floor looks like today and what it would look like with your new Hallmark floor. By the way, I did not mention this at the beginning, but I just put Hallmark floors in my house. And I, again, I appreciate you helping me out, make the selection and get samples over here and all that. I got to tell you something, every single person who comes in my house wants to know. And I think, you know, because now I've had three friends and family members since installing my house come through me and go, how do I get these products? But I will tell you, Mark, I mean, these products are phenomenal. I wanted to throw that in at the beginning. I forgot. No. But I, that, and thank you for that. I really appreciate it because honestly, behind the scenes, we do work to our, our fingers to the bone and making sure that every single person that we're in touch with as far as the product, when we're building it, when we're putting colors together, um, to flying, making sure that we've got um, our manufacturing set up perfectly. Uh, and that was challenged during... Uh, I would say the pandemic of instead of going of actually sending samples back and forth that drew things out a little farther. Um, but we do, we, and, and I think that is part of every single person in along the chain that absolutely loves building a great product at a great price. That's the whole goal is how to utilize the whole log, how to utilize the whole system. How do we make sure that we can get the prices good as possible with all the bells and whistles that the end users are looking for now out in the field. Well, I will tell you, these product, this floor is incredible. It's one of the oil finished Thank products. You. Um, I'm just pleased. And by the way, you were talking about it. Part of the process for me was getting samples sent from Hallmark uh, so I could look at these things and make sure it matched everything. But part of our program for digital retailing is now sample ordering, which is available on every retailer site that is part of this program. And I can tell you unequivocally, you know, we've had sample ordering now that we've put out into the market as in a beta test for 18 months. Mm -hmm. And it is, abs it is astounding to me that this industry didn't come to this realization a long time ago, but putting sample ordering of products on retailer websites and allowing consumers to order samples, get them in their hands, leads to incredible uptick in engaged consumers who are now further down the, the sales cycle than ever before and are actually calling retailers one after another and saying, hey, I love this product. I've already picked my color. I've read all the reviews about your company. 
how do I get a quote and get an installation started? That is really starting to happen. And what's really exciting I to me is stamp ordering is part of the digital retailing program with Hallmark. And it's now going out um, to hundreds and hundreds of retailers um, who have already signed up for this program. Yeah, the, we saw it too. We saw it in the pandemic. We saw how people shop differently. I mean, the splinter groups um, from the pandemic were really fascinating to me with people who would only shop online. And, and this is to local lumber yards or to retailers um, or who actually called in or maybe they went in once. Um, they saw what they wanted. They had the product delivered to either to their home or they went over and picked it up at the place. Um, maybe they had somebody come and drop samples off to their home when they were, um, they never even went in. They just picked it out online, asked them to come over. So all of a sudden we in the flooring industry saw, wow, there's different ways people shop and how do we cover the majority of that? And it truly is online, hundred um, percent. Visualization is important because you have to see what it looks like in your home. That's part of the whole process. The second is, you have to get the sample because what is on your screen isn't always necessarily what looks like in your room. You've got different wall colors. You've got different um, lighting that um, can influence those colors. So from that standpoint, you got to have the um, sample um, when it comes to that. And, it, and it's got to be seamless. So um, from looking at uh, the product to hearing about the product, to seeing the reviews, to being able to order the sample, to getting the sample, and then back engaging with the customer is, is something that has to be done and has to be easy for the customer. Um, otherwise, that's, we're all the same. We're, we all have squirrel attention sometimes, and boom, we're off into another website, and we forgot what we looked at, and we could end up on somebody else's website. And what I really appreciate about Broadloom is it keeps the, the one caveat that I used to hear quite often out in the field is I get a little um, tentative of sending my customer online or to the manufacturer's website because I want to make sure that they, I control what they're seeing and I can continue that conversation. And Broadlum allows you to do that because now the actual landing page, products, ordering, visualization, sampling, all of that is extremely seamless and quick. And, and nobody is going to want to go out and do the due diligence again and again to each website because everybody's different. So you have a synchronicity of the product and the experience. Yeah. So listen, you hit the nail on the head and you said this earlier, being able to connect with this person as soon as humanly possible, once they've shown that their intent is to contact you and they've shown kind of an attraction to one of your products and your company. So another feature of digital retailing with the Hallmark program is web to text messaging, which basically allows a consumer to be on the retailer's website, visualizing products, ordering samples, but also reaching out through a, looks like they're chatting with someone on the website but it actually is going to a mobile phone of somebody at that store who then will text back their message. And what's real interesting about web to text, it starts on the computer. So the consumer is, let's just say on the website and text and web messaging through the website on their phone. When the message comes back, it comes back not just on the website chat, but it comes back as a text message on the consumer's phone. So it allows them to leave the website, but stay in communication with the person at your store so they don't have to be logged on or looking at the website for that conversation to happen. And like you said, what we've learned is once someone's visualized, started to order samples, and also is now chatting through text with a salesperson, they leave shopping mode and they're all of a sudden in a mode of actually working transactionally with you on receiving information and being and coming further down that sales cycle. And I can tell you, this is really, really benefiting flooring stores because a lot of the hard, heavy lifting is now happening online and the customer is not spending three hours in a the store. They're spending 30 minutes in the store 
basically a lot of times they're taking their small sample, the information that they already have, and they're just matching their small sample up to the large sample to make sure that everything that they thought about that product is correct and to set up their installation and the purchase. And that's happening more and more and more, which again, is really exciting because it's taking less it is, time to make it is. a sale. And you notice with the web detects, what's really important is is the, it, when somebody has a question, um, especially with an investment of this kind, they need it answered right away. And we find that the web detects actually works better than a phone call because they may not get the person. They may be out to lunch, or there's always somebody on your text is going to give you the answer you need because that's what it's there for. That's what the company's been trained to do. You have taught everybody, all your salespeople, that if it comes in to answer those and their priorities. So the person feels like they're being not, not only taken care of with um, white glove service, but they get the answer and it's done and it's gone. Nothing festers worse than an unanswered question with a consumer. No, no question about it, my man. So, so now we've got online visualization, sample ordering off the retailer's website, Web to text messaging. One of the last components of digital retailing is the in store experience that allows a consumer to come to the store with images of their home and actually visualize the products in your store with the large samples now on a large screen in the store. And I can tell you again, that's something that we've been testing now for 18 months. Once a retail salesperson has had the experience of a consumer coming in and going through that process, it's that's all they wanna do. And we're really excited to be putting all of your products into the in-store visualizer so now they're on a large screen. And again, that user experience for the consumer, if it's done correctly and the retailer informs the customer on the phone before they come, hey, before you come to the store, take pictures of your home and bring them to the store, we have a large screen and we can put your rooms up on the screen and show you these products that we have in the store while you're looking at the sample in your rooms. We've had customers drive two hours across town, bypassing all the box stores and all your competitors to do that. And that's the last, that's the last component in the di digital retailing program that we have with you guys. So excited to have all those, all those pieces of the puzzle. Yeah, we, um, we've, we've mirrored some of the items that you have um, in the process. And I think it comes naturally where you have, you have uh, not only visualization, but you have sample film. You have to have some availability contact. You have to have inspirational pictures. Um, even, and then the secondary is obviously they can see it in their own house. And that's where visualization takes the place of do you have installed pictures? Because that used to be the second, I would say, largest question people used to have. Um, oh, well, that looks nice. I know you guys went ahead and had that done professionally, but do you have anything installed that we could really see what it looks like? Mark, you're um, so, you could not be, you could not be, that, that is so true. I can tell you this. I mean, while I was shopping for my own home, I was taking your products and sticking them in the visualizer even before we had officially put your products into the visualizer. I was having some engineers here. They <laughs> stick this in here and let me see what this looks like. Um, but you know what sold me? I was on the Hallmark website and you guys probably have the best collection of consumer images that consumers have given you guys of installations, which I think is a testament to your product because nobody's gonna go out of their way to send pictures of their home to a manufacturer unless they're really, really proud of what that looks like. And you have hundreds of them. And honestly, that's what pushed me over the edge. I saw some homes that I thought looked like, you know, what I was trying to create at my house and you guys have a ton of it. And part of, you know, this program, I'm glad you brought that up is that we're taking that content from your website and we're now sharing it through the retailer website so the retailers that are in this program are going to have visualization, sample ordering. They're going to have the in-store visualization. They're going to have web to text, but we're also taking the content from Hallmark and we're representing that on the retailer's website. So you, they all have that immersive content that you guys do such a good job of sharing on your own website. 
That's it's really important. And to be able to have that control to where that customer, when they contact the specialized retailer are, is actually um, 100% committed to that experience. Um, if the experience is easy, if the experience flows, if, um, if the answers are created, you automatically um, subconsciously have a want and a need to go back because everything was taken care of for you. So sub when we think about how people actually choose the decision of what they're going to put in their home, that's easy compared to the service level that you are giving to that consumer. Um, I always think of it as, um, and people, it's, I'm sure it's been written multiple places where when you're looking at solving an issue, especially in your, in your company, you look at where's the weakest link. So you've got a chain of items in your business and which one do I need help with? Well, right now it's, it's absolutely how people shop and making sure that they're making the right decision with their money. It's critical. Um, it's not <laughs> the, the government has turned off the spigot for to um, possibly just make a choice that you think would be great. You're going to vet the durability of the product. You're going to vet to make sure that um, the company has been around for a while, the warranties, um, what is the, what are people saying about warranties and that the wearability of the product um, and do people like it across the nation? Um, that between like Google likes their 4.3 to 4.7 as far as the reviews are concerned that of, gives viability to you, your product and your manufacturers. Um, that's the sweet spot that people are looking for and they don't even realize they're looking for it to give the honest commitment that they're willing to go with that uh, specialized retailer. You're hundred percent right. And again, you know, that all speaks to you know, we took all the data, everything that we could see and COVID definitely pushed uh, people's uh, digital, basically adoption into hyperdrive. Um, you know, people at that time, it's so weird to even think about, you were afraid to physically go anywhere or even touch anything. So yeah. everything was done digitally. And, uh, but what we learned is how we could navigate that and create an experience so, you know, I'm really proud of this, man. Like your website is fantastic. And the way we look at this consumer journey is your website's part of the journey. The retailer's website's part of the journey. Those two things should complement each other in this, in this way. And as you said, it's a fluid experience because you can order samples here. They see the same thing here. The same content that's on the Hallmark website is now represented on the local retailer's website where then we open that up to web to text messaging on the retailer's website, sample ordering on the retailer's website. You've got the um, you've got the in-store visualization component. And again, the one component that we 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 must we must talk about is you've got this independent retailer who now is at the end of the line. And we know if we can get a customer to order a sample, to text, or to show up at one of these stores the service level that they're gonna get is so much better than what they're gonna receive at a box store or even e-commerce. And so I think, you know, the customer journey that we've created here together with Hallmark and Broadloom um, is something that we've been talking a long time about. I'm really excited to be partnered with you and uh, your company to bring this forward to the retailers that, you know, support your product, the retailers that have a website with Broadloom. And, you know, I can only imagine what we're going to be talking about next year. The thing that I'm most looking forward to is getting some of the retailers who start leveraging the Hallmark Digital Retailing Program um, and getting their experiences and their stories. Because what inevitably has happened over time, as we started to, you know, test out digital retailing, we've got a lot of retailers that have now given us feedback. And as a matter of fact, we're going to feature some of those um, following this conversation with you and I. But the next webinar that we're going to do, and I think would be cool, is we'll have some of the retailers um, that launch the Hallmark Digital Retailing Program. We'll have them on. You and I will get together, but we'll let the retailers do the talking and talk about their experience uh, with your new program. Mark, thank you so much for your time. It's been awesome. Oh, thank you, John. 
It's been awesome. I always appreciate it's been a long it. Time yeah. coming, man. Um, you've been a big <laughs> supporter and cheerleader for our company. Yeah. Everyone gets motivated here. When I bring your name up, everyone smiles and goes, that's the guy that's pushing us. Yeah, it's ridiculous how much. You know, it's it, it's literally been for me um coming up on 10 years of trying to push this agenda. So when you guys came along, it's just been oh like a relief off my shoulders that I wasn't this crazy guy walking, running around, spending, you know, the boss's money on all this stuff. And then, but, uh, and then when it, um, uh, when you came along and had the exact answer to what people were asking, and that is, yeah, but I don't want them to leave my website if they go and see anything else. It was just insane. It's like, okay, this is the answer, you know, plus the, it, the individual items, this, and, and the scalability, which what really, ties um what i can't do i can't do for the retailer what you're doing you actually scale their business to a point to where they can contract they can expand and they still look like they're a full-blown service organization i mean what's amazing with what you just said dude that's how i look at you like we're providing this platform but we have to have the products and they have to be the right. simple products and they have to be the products with a brand and a passion and a mission. Yeah. And you yeah. guys yeah. fill the pipelines, the blood, basically that's the blood supply of our, of our platform. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That powers yeah. it. That gives these retailers the superpowers to then go out there and market to consumers. And they can really just crush the box stores and e-commerce stores when they have the platform with products and the support like a company like a, from a company like yours so it, it's super super exciting oh, yeah we're definitely stronger together for sure absolutely um and it's interesting that all of the um sales with big box stores florida corn more it's pretty low-end stuff um that they've switched to except for florida corn more still has some nice decent hardwoods i should say um, but it's impossible to navigate their system. They've got too many products. It's, um, they couldn't, the, the through fare on their product lines, they can't even keep up with as far as digital is concerned. And that seems to be right now in, in our marketplace. Um, even the, even the big, huge billion dollar companies are struggling with that. You would think they would have a bevy of scanners in their offices that they were constantly scanning products, making sure that they were working with the digital experience. And you just don't see it. I mean, it's, it's not there. Uh, we're a little more fortunate because we don't have 20,000 SKUs. We got 200 SKUs. So I do understand the cost there, but it, it doesn't matter. It's the cost of doing business. If you want to reach your cut, the customers that are choosing, the customers that are filling in with, uh, because they got a, a home rental or an apartment that they need to fill, that doesn't matter. Those are the guys I see going to Home Depot, Florida Corner, Moore and Lowe's. Um, everybody else is, um, they don't know where to go. So for, visibility is huge. Absolutely top shelf um, and moving through this experience. Um, but the scalability, I still stuck on that something that happened, the Great Recession people waited. They were really critically um, concerned about their employees. They love their employees. They're, they're, they're really good people, John. And they held on too long and they lost their business. They didn't know when to scale up, when to scale down. They, they, they just thought it was going to blow over. And I thought, mm, nope, they just didn't, they just couldn't do it. Well, there were two uh, things that happened, man. There was, there was that, but there was also what, what you just said happened at scale. And it's really why I helped co-found Floor Course in 2008, 2009 was the very first time and that most people were learning what Google was and what it was all about. And the recession was in full motion, right? Yeah. So yeah. All of a sudden, as you said, people had all of this pent up, hey, wait a minute, I'm going to be extremely diligent about what I'm going to spend my money on. And there's this new place you can go to learn about things before you actually go driving around the store. <laughs> and so yeah. consumers shifted all their attention to Google and so did the box stores. The box stores recognized it immediately. They did. 
and started did, advertising right. like crazy and moving budget from TV, radio to Google, the nobody in the flooring industry saw that coming for a couple years. During yeah, that period right. of time was when the box stores went crazy taking market share away from the independent flooring retailer. And I saw that happening right before my eyes. And that's why we started Floor Force. But today is very similar, but different. Today, I believe mm. what you said, people are going to spend way more time, but now it's going to be about experience. Who's going to yeah. allow me to obtain the most information and give me the most engaging experience without having to spend time driving around? And that's going to be the winner. The good news is we're prepared this time. The retailers are prepared. You're prepared. And I think we can actually pull away market share from the box stores by offering a better experience and partnering with you and the 100%, retailer absolutely. than what happened the first time. 100%, 100%, because it's human nature. If you are already intuitively thinking about my process better than the box stores who have billions of dollars at their disposal and spend multi-millions of dollars on their website and getting the actual information on how to connect with the dealer and we're doing a better job, we've sealed. We've, we've literally sealed it um, uh, with icing uh, on top and a cherry because it's just... They, you can't compete with that. Their scale of business is so huge that they can't deliver that kind. That, it, that would bankrupt them. But we can with a smaller offering, with better offerings, with um, better tools um, and targeted tools, I think are the most critical. Because um, it, it's the one thing that I always looked at that hurt to some degree was when for the past 10 years since the Great Recession, there's less dealers than there were 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, there are. Uh, now, they're as far as owners are concerned, um, there's obviously, there's more because they have multiple um, people, but there's like about 9,000 of them across the United States. Not physical locations, but people. And it's not growing. Um. So the opportunity for business, if you have Broadloom, if you have that component, you are winning. I just, I still love this story that um, uh, C. Wallace sitting next to the bar, the guy said, he goes, oh, I didn't do, <laughs> this is going back eight years ago. He goes, I didn't do one thing different. I just, just gave my money and all of a sudden I doubled my business. He goes, I didn't get up earlier. I didn't go to bed later. I didn't, I didn't hire more people. I didn't do anything. That's incredible. I mean, that was before you had all of the suite of goods. You just had a website. Just yeah. visibility. It's insane. So, yeah. I mean, we're past that. You got to have more than that. But that's, a, that's a, my, I, I would got to, I got to find that guy because it's the best, that's the best story ever. Yeah. Listen, man, that's why we wake up and do what we do. And yeah, it's fun it's stuff. So exciting to be. Well, you know, working here at Broadloom now, and I guess you said uh, continuing to add to the suite, but you know, it all starts with getting people's attention. And now it's how can you provide a better experience? And listen, we're well positioned. And thanks to you and your company, um, you're giving us, you know, the pro the product and the product, everything we do without the product and the special products with a brand mean nothing. But when we combine these two things with this flooring retailer, man, digital retailing has a chance to take back a lot of market share that the retailers lost in the Great Recession and, and really do something differently as whatever is going to happen in this new uh, economy that we're headed into. Yep, I agree. I agree. We've, we've got the tools for everybody, that's for sure. And uh, we, we do appreciate that. Um, so listen. Absolutely. If you're a retailer and you're looking for information on this program, um, there's anyone who's on this webinar is getting an email uh, coming from Mark, um, basically that gives you information of how to learn more about this program. You always can reach out to myself or you can reach out to Mark uh, if you have questions about Hallmark and we'd be happy to uh, give you more information. But with that, we're going to sign off. And as I said, there's going to be a couple videos of some retailers um, that have been working with us 
beta testing digital retailing or on the very on the cusp of as we're launching digital retailing that we're going to uh, let people listen to just to hear, you know, unbiased. These are retailers that are just brand new into this and their experience so far with digital retailing. But Mark, have a great day. Thank you for spending the time and we'll talk soon, my friend. Sounds good, John. All right. Take care, man. Ciao. Bye. Hey, Josh, John Willard, really glad you're joining me today on this webinar about digital retailing. And, you know, for the folks out there, um, we had never met before. You know, we were having a conversation about digital marketing and your website. And lucky enough that Jewel, your account manager, said that, you know, you were you had had some really unique success uh, using your website as a sales tool. And so I thought, listen, I don't want to speak for you. Um, if you don't mind, I'd love, though, for people to at least know, you know, your story, how you got in this business um, at Simplified Floors. And then we'll talk about, you know, your experience with digital retailing to this point and and how you've been able to leverage your website to uh, to push, you know, what you guys are trying to accomplish there. All Thanks. right. Yeah, sure. Um, I've been with Simplified Flooring for six years now. Uh, the owner, Ken. And I've known each other for close to 25 years. He was growing leaps and bounds, needed a salesman. I've been in sales my entire career, number of different things. Um, and as I come on, you know, we've, we've grown, like I said, leaps and bounds, even since I've come on board. Uh, but one thing that was lacking was a website. And this would be our third website since I started. We had the original one. We went with a local firm to rebuild the website. And then shortly after that, we come across you guys and went down that road. And fairly quickly, once we went live with you guys, um, leads started popping in. And a couple of the success stories, we don't sell a whole lot of hardwood uh, here in Northwest Ohio, but people like being able to go and shop when they can, you know, the you know, the owner says they like to shop in their underwear and which is very, very true. Um, and these guys shop on the weekends when we're not in store and a lead will come in at, you know, seven, eight, nine o'clock at night. And, you know, a couple of these leads have done that. Uh, one lead for the wood, you know, five rooms of wood border patterned. Um, she works out of town and found us on the website, started emailing back and forth. It turned into a $26,000 sale and they came into the store one time. Um, you know, somebody else that uh, another, it was another $14,000 wood sale. You know, I, would those have been as high a ticketed price? I don't know, um, but it legitimizes your business. And when you drop that price of $26,000 for five rooms of wood, they didn't even blink an eye, you know, partly probably because of the ease of shopping, the visualization in their own home, um, being legitimate. It's not just some fly by night. Um, when you have a professional website like this, you're easily found. And like I said, I, probably beating a dead horse at this point, but it makes me legitimate in this industry. So it's a lot of success. I think of the leads that we get, we get one or two leads a week. I bet closing percentages of probably close to 80%, you know, and that's a, that's a decent closing percentage considering some of these are just tire kickers anyway. Correct. Yeah. Listen, I'm excited to hear that. Um, especially since we went into this conversation talking about something completely differently and we yep. got to transition over uh, to a success story that you've had leveraging the website. Well, I've got good news for you. Uh, as I said, this webinar that we're doing is about digital retailing. And listen, the, num the, the numbers are in conversion rates on websites with visualization and uh, having a product catalog are about 2%. But what we're doing right now, and you're going to have it very soon within the next two weeks on your website, is we're, we're adding sample ordering to all of the websites with the partnerships, some of the partnerships that we have, you happen to have one of the manufacturers on your website being DH Floors that is going to have the sample ordering. 
Um, so you'll have that on your website. So we're giving you one more tool that I believe, and based on everything that we see, is going to make it even more legitimate for a consumer to not yep. just shop, but to engage on your website. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And especially since you already know, you know, I think a lot to do with what you just said, though, has to do with the way you probably handle your leads. I'm assuming you be get back to them fairly quickly. Oh, yeah. I mean, whether it's myself or um, the office controller, we're making contact either a phone call or an email or both within, you know, the next day, if not that same day. If it comes in during business hours, we're making contact, you know, and her and I have a great relationship. Hey, did you see the lead for such and such? Yes, I already sent the email or already reached out. You know, if it comes in over the weekend, Monday morning, we're reaching out to them right away. So the more, the quicker you get on that, the bigger business, you know, we have four people that in this store, you know, by the, the scheme of things, there's a lot bigger flooring stores out there in Ohio, but the quicker you get on that, the bigger you feel, the bigger you act makes you seem bigger to that retailer, which in turn trusts puts the puts them in trusting you so when you do drop that price there's no question yeah i mean listen i we have a belief and we know i know it's true like if i could get you in front of every single consumer that was shopping for floor covering in your part of, of in lima ohio you would probably sell 80 percent of them the only sure. reason that you don't do that is because you don't get to talk to all of them because they make decisions based on you know, an online engagement with somebody that, that, as you said, somehow, some way built trust with that person sure. and they engaged them and pulled them out of the market. We firmly believe that if I keep handing you more and more tools to make the consumer experience better, they're going to spend more time engaged with your company, the more opportunity you're going to have to actually have that personal one-on-one -on -one engagement. And once that happens, the difference in the way that you will present yourself versus a box store or an e-commerce store will be very different and you will continue to win. So our goal with digital retailing is to continually build out this platform, hand you more and more tools so that you guys can build your brand and get that brand out there and have more touch points. As you said, when you're closed or when you're sleeping, but to get more consumers to engage to open up more conversations and set you up for, for those conversations that could, at that point, pull them out of the market and into a customer. You know, John, the, the sample ordering that you're launching here soon is huge. You know, where they can shop at home, see it in their house, order that sample delivered right to their home. They bring it in. You know, they don't have to spend hours upon hours talking to me, talking to the owner, talking to another sales guy. They've got their mind made up that heavy lifting and the hours that we could be doing something else more beneficial or helping other customers. We're streamlining the process, 100%. which is huge. You know, we're working smarter. We don't have to work harder for that sale, which is, you know, great for the retailer in the long run. All the data suggests the same thing. And I've talked about this with, with everybody that we're talking about. All the data suggests people are very much aware that they can get almost all the information they need to make a purchase online without talking to a salesman. So now they're programmed to not talk to a salesperson and do their mm -hmm. own discovery. And again, if we can allow that to happen, but you getting credit for it, it's only going to open up more opportunities to build that trust online and then have them actually talk to you in, in, in much more frequency. So that's what, we're, that's what we're shooting for. Well, I think you're on the right track, John. Awesome, Josh. Well, listen, man, thanks so much for spending the time. I know you're busy there in, uh, at the store. And thanks for the opportunity to have this conversation. All right. I appreciate your time. Talk to you later. Thank you. Hey, Mark. John Weller here. I'm so glad you could join me today. We're excited about this conversation. Um, it's been a long time coming. You know, we have been, uh, I've been personally building websites in the flooring industry now for about 15 years. And, you know, the dream was always that it would be more than just 
a website or an online billboard that the website would become more of an integral part or a tool for you guys to use in selling product and creating a user experience um, that would help you guys grow your business digitally um, and do some of the heavy lifting maybe online and not just have it left where you guys have to start from ground zero every time someone walks in the store. Yeah. So listen, we, we're calling it digital retailing, and that's basically the connectivity that we're building with our platform um, from manufacturer to retailer to consumer. And we're really excited about it. We launched our first uh, digital retailing program through the Omnify program with Mohawk, and that's been running now for quite a number of years. And recently we launched digital retailing with Dixie Group and the four brands that they have. Um, and we've seen some really good activity with that program. But before we get into that, I'm just, again, wanted to welcome you to the webinar and uh, talk a little bit about your business, uh, Hate Carpet, and how you got into the business. I'm just curious, how, how did you get into <laughs> the floor covering business? Yeah, it's funny. So, uh, yeah, so like you said, Hate Carpet, uh, we've been a family-owned business. We've been around for a little more than 70 years. It's actually my father-in-law's father that started the business uh, back in the day. And so uh, for me personally, I my background is actually in technology, um, which I don't actually think you know that at all. But You're not. Uh, the, uh, it was more on the audiovisual, pro-audiovisual um, kind of side of things. So I got hired when the company I was working for went bankrupt. And it was just a temporary solution. Uh, I'll just be here for, you know, a couple of months, whatever, help out the company, upgrade some tech, you know, that, that side of things. And uh, and over the, well, I've now been here 10 years and uh, oversee day-to-day -day operations for most of the business stuff. And so it's uh, it's fun. It's totally different than I ever thought it would be. It's, you know, I don't think anybody thinks, oh, I just, I want to be in floor covering, but uh, it's it's a great job. It's a reliable job. You know, it's it's a lot of fun. You get to talk with a lot of people. That's uh, it's great. That is awesome. I'm very glad I asked that <laughs> question because no, I did not know that you came from technology into this business. And, you know, you probably don't know that I came from 100% flooring. I grew up in oh. the flooring business. My father was a vice president at a carpet mill. So I literally grew up as a baby Funny. in a carpet mill um, and then transferred 15 years ago into technology and started floor course. So we took opposite ways. Funny, in the yeah into this industry. Um, but that's really exciting. And I love to hear, you know, how fa it's family businesses to me are the, the unfair advantage that you guys have in the market space. And so totally. as we continue to build out our platform, we know if we can provide you guys with these tools that the consumer engages with you, once they engage with you and understand the difference of walking aimlessly around a box store and the type of individual that they're going to have to engage with there versus the service level and the commitment that you guys are going to have to your business. They're only going to work with you, but we have to get through that first barrier of digitally connecting with them and bringing them down to your business. Yeah. So as I said before, you know, we're brand new in launching the digital retailing with a lot of retailers like yourself um, in some of these new programs that we've actually added the newest component, which is the sample ordering part of the digital retailing solution. And so I know it's brand new and only, we only launched the Dixie program, uh, in the middle of January. And I know that you had one experience. So we're not saying that, you know, you've made a <laughs> million dollars so far with digital retailing, but if you don't mind, could you share kind of what happened with, um, that first, that first experience? Yeah, so so I had seen an email come through. Hey, you know we're we're launching sample ordering on your website, and I was like, oh, that'll be interesting. We'll we'll kind of see what happens with that. And I got the first uh, request. I don't know, it was maybe a week in. I got the first like lead notification. Hey, sample order has come through. And I, I actually went to one of my coworkers. And I'm like, are we supposed to do something with this? Like what? Like what happened? Like okay, great. Somebody ordered a sample. Are we supposed to follow up with them? And so we ended up just sending him an email. You know, hey. Thanks so much for sending or, you know, requesting samples from our website. Um, is there anything else we can help you with? Would you like to set up an in-home consultation? You know, any of those kind of things. And it was crickets. We didn't hear anything back from the customer. It was like, well, okay, well, maybe they just wanted some samples. 
And maybe a week, week and a half later, we get another lead and I see all the leads that come through from our uh, from our website. And so I happened to recognize the name. I was like, hey, I think that's the same name that was on that that sample order. And so we ended up, they, they put in another lead. They said they wanted an in-home consultation at that point. We set up a, a consultation. The salesperson didn't actually end up showing any samples because they had already ordered their samples from our website and were able to kind of already had the one that they liked selected. We provided the estimate and they moved forward with it while we were while we were doing it. So uh, I'd say from a first experience, like everything about that is awesome. We love the idea of what that is. It also shortens like the appointment time. It kind of makes everything a little bit smoother. But, you know, I was talking with a friend last night who um, I'm actually going out to meet with this afternoon and and looking at doing some um, just some carpet for their house. And she's already like researched everything about it. She's like, no, 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 I really don't want to learn something from my vendor or whatever. I kind of want to already know something that's going on, um, you know, have a, a better idea of of what's actually like, you know, when somebody's talking to me, if I trust what they say, all that kind of stuff. And I'm I'm that way myself, too. And so it was just one of those like, hmm, interesting that you that you say that, because like this whole thing, I think, actually does provide the ability for people to get a sample to look at it, to kind of already know what they think about some of that prior to me coming out and trying to sell them on something. A hundred percent. Listen, all the data suggests, and you said you personally are like that. I'm the, I, to be honest with you, I almost detest salespeople. I hate to say that because I kind of consider myself a salesperson, yep. but when I walk into a store, I almost put up like a defense mechanism where, listen, can you just let me do my own research and all the data suggests that consumers want to self-discover. And what's really interesting is the time on website, when we have visualization, sample ordering, product catalog, and live chat on a, on a retail website, and the majority of products have those features, the time on site goes from two and a half minutes to 20 minutes. So I'm a, we, what we're concluding is a consumer looks at a website that has sample ordering as a different experience than just a website showcasing images and visualization. Um, so listen, again, I told you that, you know, I wasn't expecting you to have a great, like a hundred million dollar <laughs> uh, kind of example of what's gone on, but it's exciting to me that you've just, you know, had your first experience with digital retailing. I think, you know, our challenge as a technology company, this industry is to educate and at least open people's eyes to where the consumer seems to be heading and try to provide you tools um, that, that provide, that give you this opportunity. And just like you were having this conversation with your friend, this is where the consumer's mind is. How can we do things that make them feel comfortable, gain trust in what we're doing and provide value to them without us selling them anything. And I think, yeah. you know, that's where we're going as a company. The good news is there's a lot of manufacturers that are now seeing also this as the need to really get proactive, to start thinking differently and not putting all the onus on the retailer to figure this out, but for them to start working um, in ways that give the consumer this experience and then drive that opportunity back to you guys. And that's where we're going as, as, as our company. And a lot of manufacturers are following suit. So listen, I'm really glad that we got to have this opportunity to have this conversation. I'm glad that you've had this one good experience. Hopefully that's the beginning yeah. of a whole bunch more. And I'm really glad to have learned uh, more about you and that you came from the <laughs> world into our business. Uh, welcome. And 10 years is a long time though. It's not like welcome. So you've been, <laughs> you've been in it for a while, but hopefully, you know, the things that we're doing will make it even more interesting with your background um, for you to lean in and, and take this thing to the next level at, at hate. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, man, have a great day. I don't want to take up any more of your time. Uh, hopefully we'll have some more stories to talk about, uh, but thanks for joining me. Thank you. All right. Take care. Have a good one. All right, bye. Hey, Justin, great. I'm great. Great to see you today. Thank you so much for joining me on this webinar. I'm excited specifically, man, to have you on this webinar. Of all the people that we work with, you crush. Um, the, the minute you got your hands on the tools that we have provided with digital retailing, 
you have been crushing it out of the freaking park. So we've had a lot of retailers on this webinar. A lot of them are brand new to having these tools put in front of them. And they're just getting acclimated to having them. You've had them for a while. You were there when we were actually beta testing these things and, yep. turn, and seeing how they would work out. But I'm really excited to have you on today. Before we get into the digital retailing part of this conversation, tell us a little bit about how you got into the flooring business, just so everyone knows who you are and how you got here. Oh, I've been doing this since I was in high school. You know, guy found me when I was working in McDonald's and said, you know, he could see that I was a hustler and uh, he brought me in. You know, I made it through high school, uh, saw that I could make a lot of money, started doing it full time. I was already doing it full time, I guess, in high school. Uh, jumped out for a little while, got back in, learned business in the time that I was away. Uh, and when I came back, I came full fledged and started to try to just bring this thing up to life. And um, it's really grown since then. You know, I, I was an installer at first and I had to really elevate myself out. And, you know, you guys have helped that and made that a reality for us. Well, you crush it, dude. I, we, we follow retailers who are, um, who allow us to work with them. And when, when they do, we follow retailers using our platform and of all the retailers, man, you crush it on almost every level. So let's get into the digital retailing side of the conversation. You've had yes. these tools now in your hand for, you know, over probably almost a year. Um, and the things we're talking about are visualization, in-store visualization with the kiosk, sample ordering, and even live chat. Tell me a little bit about, you know, how this has unfolded for you and how it's changed your business because dealers are starting to use these tools, but you have more experience than probably many people on the planet Earth. Well, yeah, we were starting to, you know, we were already with Rollmaster prior to everything and like everything else. So when we, when you guys released everything else, I, it all made sense. So, and it's all worked together really well, um, you know, from the get go, as soon as it started that same week, we were getting leads uh, that were people just using the visualizer. When I go and look, the amount of people using a visualizer on our website is astronomical. Um, and so we lean in on that and try to use it every time that someone's coming in here, when we go to our home shows, um, no matter what, we're mentioning the visualizer, our samples, um, sending them the samples, um, everything, anything and everything. Podium is is worked wonders for us as well because we are able to chat with the customer live right away, uh, know that it's a human that's talking to them. It, it really, it really... I would say sparks their interest even further, keeps them keeps them interested in us right away. It's another part of just what differentiates us. Um, is there any? One, is there any? I, I got Is there? I'm sorry to interrupt you. Is there no, any one story that you can remember where you where you utilize this and then and, and like a light bulb went off? Went dang, holy cow! Like this stuff is very transformational from the way I used to do things to the way I'm doing them now. I can say it's so transformational that it's been over a year and we're still transforming how we do. Our whole sales pitch has changed. Um, every way that we communicate with the client has changed. Um, how they communicate with us has changed, you know, and it has just 10 X everything that we're doing um, from the ground up, you know, so we've had to rebuild how we want to do things and how we're going to continue doing them in the future. Um, just with you guys, how you are as well. When you say you've changed the way you talk to customers, can you give me a couple examples of that? Yeah, so a lot of it goes through Podium. So if someone starts chatting with us there, we will continue that conversation there even after we make the sale and things like that. So the rest of our team knows what's being, being said. Um, also, when they are contacting us from online, we're immediately asking them what products they have seen online, have they used the visualizer, letting them know to go back and use it if they haven't. Also getting them to order samples or having us order them samples before we, they come in and to see us. And also when they're here to see us, uh, we are able to, using some of the digital stuff that we do, check that sample out to them and actually know when that sample is leaving and when it's supposed to come back and have somebody in charge of watching them. Uh, just every last bit of what we have been doing has changed since we've implemented all of you guys' systems. That's awesome, man. And you said something in there about ordering samples for them. What do you, what did you mean? Like you, so you proactively do that? Yes. So sometimes when they're asking us, like if there's 
Um, if they automatically contact me and they are looking for X product, um, I automatically will ask them, do they want me to order them a sample? Or I will tell them I'm ordering them a sample that's going to get shipped to them. That way, before we get to see them, they've already got a sample and another way to remember us. Uh, that's something I've learned from other dealers. And that's another power of all this. We're able to, to talk to each other and see how can we use all of these platforms together to make them work seamlessly. Yeah, I'm, that's another thing that's really exciting. And you specifically have been kind of one of the people to spearhead this is, you know, we bring you guys together at FloorCon and different events. And what's amazing to me is how you specifically and a lot of guys, you've got your own organic groups and you start pulling together and pulling each other and making each other better. And I've watched this whole thing evolve. Um, you know, that's another thing that I would say digital retailing is the consumer experience, but you guys have taken it to a digital community um, where you guys are tag teaming each other and helping each other. It's exciting to watch because I'm hearing, you know, really big time success stories and going, man, as you just said, I learned this from another dealer who learned it from another dealer and you guys collectively are improving the industry, improving your own businesses. And it's exciting to see because the consumer is actually getting a much better experience through this whole thing also. A hundred percent. Yeah, man. So listen, I, I really appreciate your time. I know uh, you're busy. Every time I check in on you, you're in the middle of a million things online. I can I follow you on Facebook um, but I really appreciate you taking the time and talking uh, to us today, because like I said, you've had it for a while. Um, it sounds like it's really working out for you. And I wanted some dealers to hear or the industry to hear, you know, someone that's leveraging all the tools that are available to them, what they're able to do with it. So thanks again, man, for your time and, and giving that information. You got it, man. Thank you for thinking of us. You got it, buddy. Us. Talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. All right. Take care.